all of us are tempted by demons and the evil one to commit sin, sort of, you know, jabbering in our ear. And of course, the good angels, our guardian angel especially, is encouraging us with God's grace to do good. Of course, we have our own free will and ultimately our choices are our own. But the evil one can tempt us and sometimes his influence is even a bit more powerful. He can harass us and sometimes even seriously uh, try to block us from doing good uh, or maybe even going to Mass, for example. Uh, we've noticed this especially in our ministry of exorcism with those who are possessed or severely impressed. Sometimes they are just, there's a, a powerful demonic force that almost makes it impossible for them even to step foot in the church. So what do we do? We bind the demons. And so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to ask you to think about any sort of uh, good that you find yourself blocked from doing or evil that you seem pushed to do. Now, this could be just a psychological addiction, but it could be, you know, it could be a demonic influence. So let's get those in your mind and we'll say a prayer to block these evil demons. And in the future, you can do this prayer yourself, asking the Lord to block the evil spirits. Repeat after me. In the holy name of Jesus, I block the demons that are negatively affecting my life, especially the following evil ones. May the Lord bind these demons. May they be deaf, dumb, and blind. May they be bound. And may the Holy Spirit inspire me and enable me to do God's will. Now I'll say, in the holy name of Jesus, I bind the evil spirits that are affecting you in your life. I bind them. They are deaf, dumb, blind, and powerless. They are paralyzed. They are bound by the Holy Spirit and the holy angels. May you be inspired and freed from their evil influence. May you be empowered by the Holy Spirit to do God's will and to reject evil. And may Almighty God bless you, free you, and be with you always. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in God's freedom. Go in God's peace.